How's it? Welcome back to the channel. So I had a meeting with my Transcendental Meditation teacher here a couple days ago, and it was our first time meeting in forever. It was actually our first time meeting again since I initially joined the organization years ago when I was you know, trying to get my feet wet with this whole meditation practice thing and learn the different techniques and stuff they have out there. But long story short is it was so long since I ever tried to use the actual Transcendental Meditation techniques that I completely forgot my super secret personalized mantra that you get through this little ceremony thing that they do. And on top of that, I also kind of forgot like the specifics on how to do the practice exactly as well. And then because you have to pay for this stuff, right, I was like, I wonder if I could like reach out to my TM teacher, even though it's been so long, and if she would remember me and have my notes and be able to find what my, you know, super secret personalized mantra thing was. So I went ahead and reached out to her. So she actually has been so long, she doesn't even live in, uh, in Hawaii anymore. She's moved to the mainland, but she still like had all my notes. I mean, it seemed like she remembered me, although uh, probably actually did because it was so long ago, but... Um, so we get this meeting scheduled and one of the cool things was is I really I just wanted her to tell me what my you know personalized mantra was but she's like you know um, before giving that to you you know why don't we go through a little session try to quiet the mind and then just you know bring up to her or tell her whatever words come to mind that you know that I think might be my mantra and I remember thinking like man I completely forgot this thing so much there is no way I'm even remotely close like you know why don't you just tell me what it is but uh, she was like no you know go through this little exercise so we went through it and I was just started throwing out words and I was actually relatively close to, to what it was which I thought was neat anyway so she gives me um, you know what the actual word is specifically and then we run through a little you know session and kind of question and answer thing about the specifics of the practice in which you know something really interesting brought up in there so when we were going through it, you know, she's having me, um, you know, you do these couple other steps, but eventually you start bringing this mantra to mind. And for me, the only time I ever use mantras personally in my own meditation practice is actually for my lucid dreaming practice where I'll do like a form of the mild lucid dreaming technique where as I'm going to sleep, I'll be repeating some sort of mantra or phrase in my head. And for me personally, I like to do it in time with my breath. I try to keep it, you know, as short as possible. So preferably like, you know, two words essentially. So like inhale, I think I am, exhale, I say in my head, lucid. And I just keep riding that wave until I, you know, drift into stage one of sleep and hopefully get lucid and all that stuff afterwards. But the point is, is I do it with my breath. So I was telling her, I'm like, oh, you know, am I supposed to be like saying this, you know, personalized secret mantra I have, you know, in my head to my breath. And she was like, absolutely not. Just like, you, you don't remember this from, from the training forever ago. I'm like, uh, no, I totally forgot. She was, so she was pointing out how you don't say it in time with your breath because at that, Kate, in that point, you're kind of just doing more of a breath meditation and then it's kind of involving too much thought. They're trying to get like deeper and quieter than that. So she was saying, instead of actually trying to say the mantra in my head, I just simply want to bring up like the thought of the word in my head. So it's a lot, of, you know, like a, like a lot quieter way of approaching the mantra practice. And that was really eye-opening to me. It actually got me thinking is like, man, have I been doing mantras this entire time wrong in my own personal practices? But nonetheless, I thought it was really neat when we went through this quick little session on it. And, you know, I would love to, like, share the specifics of the practice, but she kept telling me how, like, well, she didn't keep telling me, but I was telling her I was taking notes, right? Because I was like, man, I really want to remember this stuff. Because when I did it in person with her last time, you know, you're not supposed to be over there, like, writing down word for word everything they're saying about all the ins and outs of the practice. But I did take some notes this time because we were doing it virtually, right? And so I um, ended up bringing up how, okay, hold on, you know, I'm right now what you're saying. She's like, oh, wait, you're not supposed to do that, right? Maybe if you're going to do it, just put down little keywords. But nonetheless, I was typing all that shit up. So, um, yeah, I, she told me specifically not to do it. So I might share the practice in the future. Maybe not right now. If anybody really wants to know the specifics of the practice, maybe reach out to me personally and I can kind of share that stuff with you, you know, instead of just putting out a video on the specifics about it, at least the specifics on how I got it from my teacher, you know, on my channel and whatnot. But anyway, uh, yeah, that'll wrap it up. If you're, if you're interested in learning meditation, I think transcendental meditation is a cool way to go. Um, but, you know, there's a lot of other options out there. And to do it the real way, you do got to pay a decent amount of money for it. They, like, ask you how much money you make and it goes by your, you know, your, your bracket and, you know, however much money you got and all that stuff. But nonetheless, anyway, rambled on long here. That'll wrap it up. Until the next video, keep your meditation practice legit.